YouTube, what is good, baby? How are y'all doing? I've got a very quick video for you guys today. It is going to be a arched side part, a faded arched side part. If you guys have already seen this on my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen the end result. This is how I execute it. Now, my client does get a bald fade with this, so first and foremost, I'm gonna create my first bald guideline with those wall retros. Afterward, going with my Andis Fade Master Zero Guard closed about three fourths of an inch up, and then taking my uh, Andis Shavers, just balding out that bottom line right there. Now, when I'm doing this, these are just my simple fading techniques. I'm just gonna go with the uh, clipper closed halfway to open knocking out that guideline same thing with my with anything else and what i'm fading out is always closed halfway open or open halfway closed if i'm working down on the head now with this that hair up at top above you can kind of see where i did the part last time it's very faintly in there right where the arch is at um everything below it is going to be kind of faded uh, and then everything above that, as you can see, I'm going to take an open three guard. I'm just knocking that hair down, just kind of get a nice little base. Everything above that part is going to be the darker transition of the hair. There's nothing really going to be faded. Everything else on the top of the head is going to be nice and uh, texturized into the side of the head. Now, when starting that part, you can really start this part anywhere. I just decided to do this part kind of halfway on the arch you can start it on that point of when the uh the sideburn starts really doesn't matter as long as you have a nice little arch to it and it doesn't even matter how far you go back um i think as long as your client is happy with it and is what he wants i mean hey go for it now when i go in with the trimmers first this is just a rough draft you can see me going back and forth with the corners uh, kind of drawing and dragging that corner across just trying to get a, a overall shape to it and then you're gonna notice I grab my slimline pros uh, I do like these clippers for more detailed work they get a little bit of a closer cut I did zero gap and modify these blades as well um, so you're just gonna see me kind of go over uh, the work I did with the wall retros kind of clean everything up and then I'm gonna flip them upside down as well But I do want to keep as much darkness in that as possible. I am going to add enhancements at the end of this to make that thing just pop even more after I get done with the straight razor part. But, you know, you want to create still that faded technique so it just doesn't go from like the shortest amount of hair possible to all of a sudden super dark hair. It's just not going to look tight at all. When you leave the little bit of darkness faded look into it, it just makes that shit pop. So now onto the hair fibers. I first apply hairspray to make sure the hair fibers stick onto my canvas, which is my client's head. And uh, I'm just gonna start applying the hair fibers um, above and below the line, kind of darkening it up. And then any excess, I'm just gonna knock off with a comb or brush. Afterwards, I'm just gonna go in with my trimmers one more time to make sure that line is super crisp. Anytime you apply any sort of hair fiber or hair enhancement, you always wanna go back over that line just to ensure that that line is just super crisp. Anything that um, kinda did leak onto the line is taken off um, and just adds that little bit of freshness to it. And then of course, going over the bottom part with the straight razor, um, I don't like going over it with the trimmers upside down just because I don't want to push that line down anymore. Um, and I do feel that the straight razor kind of gets the sharpest um, line possible with the uh, hair fibers. And now you kind of see that thing's looking super sharp, guys. I, 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 this is like one of my favorite cuts I do every time I get my boy in here. Um, I'm just like super excited. I just want to create content on this haircut all the time just because it, it's a very clean look You know, it has the modern look with with the styled textured hair on top Nice you can never go wrong with a bald fade on the client Especially a mid bald fade and then you just add that little bit of a flair to it with the part everything just looks popping looks good now, as I run through this, if you guys do want a further explanation on my fading techniques, I will link a video in a little tab that should be coming up right about now. 
This is just me going throughout the rest of the haircut, of course, finishing up the other side of the fade. This was just simply just how I set this up, a nice little short quick video. Like I said, you guys know and understand my fading techniques as I'm enjoying this cut. I'm like, God damn, that shit pops. But um, I do go over this cut a lot with the straight razor, making sure all the details and everything's all in line in place. Um, always take that extra attention to detail. Your clients do notice, your clients do appreciate it. And when you do ever bump up your prices as a barber, yes clients, we do bump up our prices, your clients will understand because you always go that extra mile. So always keep that in mind, barbers. Thank you for joining me on this very quick video. Anybody who even isn't a barber, you know, maybe ask your barber for this haircut. Very, very dope haircut. Very stylish. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.